The devil may care, mom and dad don't. Holy shit, what a tearjerker this one is. Um, I have a lot to say about this song. Um, it's an easy song to play. Harder song to listen to. How about that? Um, so, if you've seen Dig, I think it's in Dig, you know a little bit of the story about uh, Anton and his family. Um, his dad, apparently, schizophrenia, I think he says, um, kind of lost touch with him, got into a lot of trouble down in Newport Beach, California, where he's from. And uh, one day, the cops brought him home, and his mom was like, I can't deal with you. And according to Anton, uh, he was out on the street and started playing gigs around Newport Beach, Huntington Beach area, sneaking into 18 plus clubs before he was 18, pretending to be 18. Um, I would love to know more about his life. I think Joel is writing a book on the Brian Jonestown Massacre. Uh, he's also writing on Patreon. You should go check him out. He's basically a modern beat poet. Anyway, this, the chords in The Devil May Care and dad don't are F, C, G, which is just F, but you move these three fingers up. G. Uh, I'm playing six through two, and the fat of my hand is muting the high E. D. F, C, G, G. Yes. Uh, I'm going to play through it really quick. Pay attention to the strumming. Um, that's the only thing that might throw you off, and also the chord progression, but you'll get that fine. So. So notice, well, first notice it's F, C, G, G, D, F, C, G, G. So there's that D, if you go through it twice, you're only throwing the D in there once, if that makes sense. Um, and for the strumming, it's... But, so like, that's the rhythm, but you're skipping some of the actual strums. If you listen to it, you'll get it. Um, and so that's the strumming. So F, C, G, G, D. Second time through. F, C, G, G. Stay on that G. Back to F. When it starts going into a lull, like the song slows down a little, you're just staying on the G, switching to the G, or the D. Back to the G. Back to the D. Back to the G. And now, to an A, and then you start again. So you get that, right? Um, simple song, the A comes in there I think twice in the song, um, and it's to get like the, the down tempo, elongated strumming, just kind of 
I could, I could get. I'm not going to go into my my philosophy of some of their songs. Anyway, when it's more quiet and stretched out, it's just between G and D. And then when it comes back, right before it comes back, the A sort of announces that. It's kind of discordant. Which you can hear in a lot of songs, actually, in uh, Their Satanic Majesty's Second Request. Oddly enough, that is a, something, It's the A kind of gets him back into a lot of songs there, too. All right, we're under six minutes. We got the strumming down. Uh, we got the chords down. And I didn't sing the song. You're welcome. Um, and if you want to like noodle and do the accents, the song's in C. So here is G, here is C, second string, eighth fret is G, first string, eighth fret is C. Um, here's a D. Yeah, it, that's so unimportant for the song though, in my opinion. And you can also do the C uh, major up here, right? Oops. But yeah, that's not important. Don't do that for this song. Honestly. The, the It's a late night whiskey song, which is when I'm <laughs> making this, although I haven't had any whiskey. Tomorrow is a work day. Um Yeah. I uh I hope you I hope this song gives you what you're looking for. Um it is a very powerful song. Anton infused this song with a lot of magic. Um, sad magic, but yeah, uh, I could talk about the song for hours. You can see I kind of want to, but I'm not going to. Have fun with the song. Uh, upcoming songs are in the description, and then I'll get back to the longer list later. All right, peace, guys.